Hi there. Today I'm back with the Anchor 18 one This is the uh, Data USB-C hub. And I'm also back with the uh, SanDisk drive as well because on the last video I did on this product where I was just looking at, uh, looking at the product, doing a couple of speed tests and things like that, I seem to hit a bit of a wall as far as the USB-C goes. So uh, basically this, this hub is supposed to have 10 gigabits per second support on USB, yet I was pretty much finding a cap on this device at around about five gigabits per second. So a couple of people have said in the in the comments on that video, what about if you actually powered it up? Because this does of course have the option for power. I've always thought of the option for power as really just a pass through of power as opposed to this actually requiring power. But maybe it does, maybe that was my mistake. So I'm gonna try that today, I'm gonna to test it without and with power and see whether we can get the speeds of this 18-in-1 hub up to the proper 10 gigabits per second, or close to it anyway, because um, what I would expect to get off this drive is around about just over one gigabyte per second of transfer. Not getting anything close to that on this at the moment. Before I continue, let's just take a quick look at how this all shows up on my system report because, of course, I want to be sure that the hub is actually connecting at 10 gigabits per second or at least is recognized as a 10 gigabit per second device. So if I'm in the system report here, I go down to Thunderbolt. I have nothing on Th Thunderbolt, which is exactly as I would expect because this is not a Thunderbolt device. Go to USB and here I have my USB 3.1 bus and you can see clearly here that it says speed up to 10 gigabits per second and this is the specific hub that my Extreme Pro drive is connected to here so the SanDisk drive it's connected to this one and again we have a speed here of up to 10 gigabits per second so this is without power to the hub it's purely being powered from the computer itself and it is clearly showing that it's negotiating a 10 gigabit speed even the drive itself has negotiated a 10 gigabit speed too so right throughout the chain we've got the bus the hub and the drive all reporting 10 gigabits per second some people like to do these tests using uh, while capturing the screen. Um, I prefer to just film the screen like this to ensure that the screen capture itself is not impacting the test in any way but I, I understand that it does mean that you probably can't see it quite as well as you otherwise would be able to. So this is the file I'm looking to move here. This is the uh, 38 gigabyte file. This is currently sat on my uh, NVMe drive on the, uh, on, this, on the drive on the actual MacBook here and um, I've got the anchor dock connected, so the Anchor Hub connected. So I'm going to connect it directly to one of the 10 gigabits per second ports there. Uh, I'm just going to bring up the activity monitor uh, initially. I will do, actually, just before we do that, I will do some a quick disk, disk test on here, disk speed test, the Blackmagic one. Uh, find results are very sort of hit and miss on this speed test, but I will do it nonetheless. So let's start that test. Yeah, so this seems to be hitting. You can see here because we're getting a 590, 500. This seems to be hitting pretty much a five gigabit per second, uh, just like a cap almost. It seems to be as if this is running in five in the five gigabit per second mode as opposed to ten. It's not kind of going in between. It's pretty much exactly the same each time. See whether uh, an actual transfer confirms that so let's just copy this file across and find a place on the screen where I can zoom in okay so data transfer disk we're on data IO and data so we're getting slightly better results on here but sometimes the reporting on the uh, on the activity monitor can be a little bit generous nice and consistent 685 so maybe is that more than five gigabits I think it is isn't it it might be a little bit more than that but it's fairly consistent right so let me just grab the USB-C power supply and I'll get this dock this hub hooked up to power let's see if it makes any difference so here's the USB-C power which goes into power delivery in there and this should 
should now start charging the laptop. Yeah, you just probably heard the tone there on the laptop. So we are now charging on the laptop. Now, does it make any difference with the dock, though? Uh, dock, I keep calling it a dock. It's not a dock at all. It's a hub. I'm going to try removing the drive and just re-adding it, just, just in case. Just going to uh, eject the drive from here. And just re-add it, just in case it's kind of powered up and it's got to, I don't know, renegotiate something. Or <laughs> I have no idea. Let's just try plugging it in again. So let's go back to the Blackmagic speed test. Well, mm, no, <laughs> is the answer, not really. It hasn't. Um, it seemed to be getting a slightly higher speed on right. I'm not sure if that's just because it's this time that I've, I'm performing the test, it's just running slightly better. But um, yeah, I wouldn't say that's much different. And let's try just moving that file again. No, nope, absolutely no different. So speed is exactly the same, regardless of whether it's plugged into power or not. Before I go, however, I will try one more thing. I will try this NVMe drive, just in case we've got any anything specifically wrong or sort of incompatibility between the SanDisk drive and the... Um, and the anchor hub. So let's add, let's bring a file, let's bring that same file across to that drive and see what speeds we get now. No, same thing, exactly the same. You can just see, just here, speeds coming in at 640, this, this top, this read speed does sort of peak just above 700, but other than that, it appears that the 8-in-1 really can't do any speed above 5 or 6 gigabits per second, which is a bit disappointing. I would have hoped it would get much more than that. And just for completeness, just to show you this enclosure here, let's transfer something to that directly. So we've now got this connected directly to the Thunderbolt port on the side of the Mac, just to give you a comparison between the two and we've now got data read and write speeds of a consistent three gigabytes per second three gigabytes per second oh there we go that's it that was that's done 40 gig file transferred in that amount of time uh, let's do quickly do a uh, speed test on this speed test might not come up quite so favorably not bad. A little bit of a strange one, that. It's a really nice product. I really like it. But one of the thing the Data One sells itself on, because there are two versions of this 18 one There's like a media one that has two HDMI outs and a Data One. And one of the things that it sells itself on, on the Data side, is that it has 10 gigabit per second ports, USB-C, 10 gigabit per second. And I'm absolutely unable to get anything close to that from this. So do you have one of these or do you have something similar? Are you able to get 10 gigabit out of a hub versus a dock with dedicated a dedicated power supply? Because uh, if you can, let me know which one it is. Or if you have, even better, if you've got one of these and you're able to get a better speed out of it, then please uh, do put something in the comments. As always, I will put links to uh, to all the stuff I've used today in the uh, description. If you'd like to support the channel, please click on those links to check the price on Amazon. I mean, it doesn't actually matter if you want to buy these or not. Uh, if you come through the door into Amazon for the next thing that you buy at Amazon, whether it be nappies or um, a spanner or a wrench or something like that, it doesn't matter. Uh, we get a small commission of that sale. So. Thanks very much, and uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel as well, and I'll speak to you soon.